We've got a couple of guests. We've got a um, <clears throat> penguin palooza here on AMHQ. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic, guys. We've had so much fun in the commercial break already. Now, also with the penguins is Erin Morlang here from the Georgia Aquarium. She brought friends. She brought penguins. Yes. This is Zuri. This is Zuri. She's one of our African penguins, and she was actually hatched at the Georgia Aquarium. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so let's talk about the African um, penguins in general, and are they okay, first of all, in the climate here in the studio? They are. They are actually temperate weather oh. species. Um, <laughs> you could hear a little vocal from her. So they are naturally found in South Africa and Namibia, so it is pretty temperate there. However, the water off of that area is very cold, so feathers are still very important um, for this type of penguin. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh wow, wow, that. very vocal. <laughs> Yes. How about do you want now, something, give something to say? <laughs> how, how are their population numbers? How are they doing? Um, unfortunately, African penguins are endangered, uh, and we've seen a really sharp decline. There's a few different reasons for that. We have oil spills obviously affect them. Not only does it coat their food, but it can coat their feathers mm. and make it very hard for them to swim in that cold water. But we also are seeing the ocean temperatures rise, um, and what that's doing is causing a lot of the fish they normally eat to move further away uh, from their beaching areas. So so they're having to go a pretty long way to get food, and that um, is pretty detrimental to them, especially because they co-parent. So everybody, uh, somebody's always responsible for feeding that chick. So like yeah. in the movie Happy Feet, which is what you know a lot of us know about penguins, um, but the male takes care of the babies you know, while the female goes out to find food. So with African penguins, they switch probably every three to four oh. days maybe um, between the male and the sure, female, and that starts as soon as the egg is laid. Can we, can we see Zuri walk sure, around? Sure, yeah. We'll it's very walk. impressive, waddle, waddle, the waddling. Waddle. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she's not shy at all. We'll see where she goes. Um, while she's waddling, Erin, uh, what do you guys do with the Georgia Aquarium to help them adapt and to look at the species as a whole? Yeah, well, we actually use our penguins as animal ambassadors to help teach people about them, but we also have a partnership Goodness. with some colleagues in South Africa called Sankob. It's a Southern African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Birds, and they are actually a rehab and release facility down there. So we've been able to support them um, and send staff as well as funds to go and help them and aid them in their efforts. That's fantastic. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit more about these amazing creatures they seem to be extremely curious aren't they yes. they are very <laughs> inquisitive yes they do look around a lot um, and we work a lot with forming relationships with our penguins so we do uh, we form pretty good bonds with them which means she recognizes me but she yes. she obviously knows oh. she doesn't know you <laughs> there she yeah. goes there Goodness. she goes yeah. yeah uh, anyway, we can put a, a microphone uh, on her. Is, is, is she available tomorrow? We need her to have her in the studio. She's amazing. Unbelievable. I bet. I bet the penguins are pretty popular at the aquarium. They are very popular. You know, people tend to really, I think be driven to penguins. They're very charismatic. I don't know if it's because they stand upright, but what's really nice is we do have penguin encounters that people can sign up for, as well as a waddle walk through the atrium on some of the mornings. So people get to see them a little bit more up close, which is really our goal. We really want people to learn about them and care about conservation. Yeah, yes. No, they are a great ambassador. I think yeah. that's, that's fantastic. And thank you for all the good work that you're thank doing. Thank you. A question from Aaron from uh, Georgia Aquarium. Aaron, Aaron Morning. And the names of the, of the, the we, we have Zuri, Zuri, Zuri. Zuri and Leela. Okay, we also Zuri, had Leela. Leela. Leela's in yeah. the studio somewhere. Here she comes. Hi. Oh, they're trying to come help me do the weather. That's the problem. Hey, how are you doing they're very somewhere? friendly. Yeah, yeah. They are definitely going to check you out. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. So. Unbelievable. Steph, take it away. We're going to hang out with these guys. Well, they were trying to come over here to do the weather. That's what she said when she was being very vocal earlier. was like, oh, I want to do the weather. That's what all the people do. So they can come over and do the weather here at the weather wall.